We can plot any of the EX, EZ, or HY components, but from the right-hand rule, wave propagation to the left and to the right in our grid will have EZ and HY components. Since our finger is pointing in EZ, curl around in the direction of HY gives pro wave propagation in the X direction. And likewise, propagation upwards and downwards in the model will involve EX and HY components. This means that if we plot EZ, we can't check for symmetry because EZ will primarily have values left and right of the source. And if we plot EX, we also can't check for symmetry because EX will primarily have values above and below the HY source. On the other hand, HY is a common component for wave propagation to the left, right, above, and below the source. So let's start by plotting just HY. Later we can check the other field components. If we want to view the HY fields in the two-dimensional spatial grid and how they evolve over time, we need to change the plot command we were using earlier for the one-dimensional code to something like P color. There are some other options as well, but I typically use P color. So in the time stepping loop, to plot the HY fields over time, type P color and HY and an apostrophe. An apostrophe is needed here after HY, and this is because MATLAB plots the second index along the horizontal axis and then the first index along the vertical axis. But since we've defined the X axis to be the first index and the Z axis to be uh, the vertical axis, we need to transform the HY array before plotting it. Now P color automatically plots black grid lines between all of the grid cells, which is fine, but in our case we will only see black lines in the plot from the grid lines, something like this, instead of the values of the HY components. So to get rid of the grid lines, you can type shading flat. Also, we will want to include axis equal and tight. Typing equal makes the aspect ratio of the plot the same in the x and the z directions. If you leave this out, the square 100 by 100 grid that we currently have will look more like a rectangle. It will be wider than it is tall. This is just MATLAB's default way, to, default way of plotting. Second, by typing tight, MATLAB won't plot any empty space on the sides of the plot. Also type color bar so we can see what, the num what numbers the colors in the plot represent. And finally, let's increase the font size a bit. We'll have set GCA font size. Now since we've created a new code here, let's go ahead and plot the HY fields over every time step. So we can see what's going on in the grid during time stepping to make sure everything looks correct before we try to make the code run faster. Now before we run our code, let's think about what we expect to see. What do you expect to see when you run your code? You can pause the video if you like. Well, since we've put a hard source in the middle of the grid, and since the source is on HY, and we're plotting HYs, we should see a nice circular pattern radiating away from the HY source in the middle of the grid. And since the source time waveform is a sinusoid, changing values over time, as a sinusoid does, we should see circles of different colors moving away from the source. Then what will happen when enough time has evolved for the wave to reach the edges of the grid? Well, since the four sides of the grid are currently PEC, we should see a reflection of equal and opposite amplitude as the incident fields reach the PEC. For now, since we've made so many changes to the model, it's a good idea to only run the code for only a short, short number of time steps so we can make sure everything looks okay before we run the code for a longer amount of time. So for now, let's just set 
n max equal to 10. Go ahead and run your code for just 10 time steps.